listen, positive over negative. Because I do believe in positivity. Positive over negative. Positive, positive over negative. Positive, over negative. I grew up skating contests since I was really young. And that's kind of how I came up and how I'm here now today. Let them hear you, it is Chaz Ortiz. He is one of the most consistent skaters I've ever seen. Chaz Ortiz with an incredible run. It's just weird how I came up because like no one has really done that. Like through the contest, circuit and skateboarding it's like oh you have to have a good street part like all that not that i chose to come up in contests like it just happened so i mean i can't really do anything about it it got me here <laughs> like i'm not complaining at all and the interesting thing about Chaz is nobody nobody in the skate world even knew who he was until he won the free flow tour and then started winning due tour events yeah i skated the free flow tour in 07 and then they invited me back to skate with the pros in 08 I actually won. 14 year old Chaz Ortiz. It definitely changed a lot of things. Uh, I got sponsored by Gatorade, which was cool, and uh, just so many opportunities at such a young age. Like, for me, it's like, New York's always been my home, and so like I never changed any of my sponsors, you know? I just kind of stuck with them. 2010 Do Tour Cup winner, Chaz Ortiz. Of course it'd be amazing to win another Do Cup. Taking those two years off, and doing other contests and like not being able to win is just like, God, it's so hard, you know? So like looking back at that, it's like, well, I, I did it then, so like, let's do it now, you know? That's kind of like all I knew, like growing up is just like skating the dude tour and just like, you know, just like the whole vibe and culture. So yeah, no, it's definitely good to be back. I definitely missed it, you know? Dope that they had an SF and you know they got to uh, incorporate you know Pier Seven and China Banks. It's cool to see them pushing it in a, in the right direction. I've been working on a lot of new tricks that no one's really seen me do, so hopefully throw those out there and stay on my board. Definitely have to beat you know Paul, Ryan, Nyjah, and with this course it kind of suits everyone, so. This is the first and last event, so if you win this, you win the Duke Cup. So it's, it's anyone's game. <laughs> Headed to the course. It's kind of rainy outside, so try and go practice a little bit. Looks like Chaz Ortiz is having a good time right now. Look at this. Wow, wow man. He is very good today. Well, the format's pretty dope. I like that you can do three tricks because uh, that's how I like to skate. I like to just keep going. Kind of like blink out, dude. I just kind of like get in my little zone and just kind of like zone out and just skate. Mess up one trip. Chaz Ortiz leads the way. He was in heat number one with a 90.50. Nyjah Houston in second. Tori Pudwell in third. You know, I was landing everything I wanted to, and I just kept like practicing it over and over just to, you know, get the feel for it in the contest. So I'm hyped, you know, I landed everything I wanted to. So we'll see what's up for tomorrow. Welcome to San Francisco. Today, it's the Skate Street Finals live directly in front of City Hall. A full slate of action, music, and so much more. So uh, I was lucky enough to qualify first yesterday. The uh, prize was five grand, so that was pretty cool, you know. And then uh, just looking forward to today. Seeing Little Wayne here is so sick. We're homies, you know. Every, you know, he loves skating and he's so passionate about skating. It's it's ridiculous. Oh, you gonna skate oh, yeah. after or what? Yeah, we're going to the Bachelor Park too. Oh, yeah. What tonight? Yeah, we're gonna skate this after everybody leaves. Like, get excited.
qualified first yesterday to try to get it in today. He was the best man to come out of the semifinals last night. This is 18-year-old Chaz Ortiz out of Chicago. If there's anybody who I think can kind of take it from Nigel, it would be this guy. But he has a little bit more to offer on the Ooh. bank sections. Of course, this, this is unusual. Well. This is kind of uh, something that I hardly ever see, which is Chaz's strong suit is these timed runs where he gets to skate the whole course. He's so good at everything, and him having two falls like that is really, really unusual. And Chaz is, he's in a pressure spot right now. He really, he he's kind of wavered. He kind of had a rough start. Then he came back and made some great stuff. And then he's had a couple falls. So he's got to, He's got to keep it together in this last two minutes. Yeah, and he's, he, I think he's going to be trying extra hard, trying to make up ground. Sometimes that isn't always the, you know, it's not the best position Well, how to important be. is this? Backside 360, Ollie, that's, that's good. Nails that's great. Him. That's good, nice. too. Crooked grind, nollie flip out. Wow. Right at the end. Yeah. I don't know whether the judges are going to count that or not. Today just didn't really go my way when it came down to it. I started to feel like real sick and just like, I don't know, just like real shaky. I think it's because I didn't really eat anything. <laughs> I was hoping to get up there, you know, at least just make it to the final, and then I would have felt better, you know, but it's all good, man. I knew I could have done better, but you know what? I'm not gonna let it get to me. Win some, lose some. I'm, I mean, obviously I'm a competitive person, but at the end of the day, you know, we're just skating. <laughs>